Yeah, it's something. Yeah, I mean, it, it's also it's yeah, it's like a big, large scale structuring mechanism that sort of effect, pervades the language. Like, it's not a people often when you're studying programming language features, you like studying this little feature over here that you can just add to a language. And modules is not that; it touches the whole language. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a big feature, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, so when I came to work on this, it was uh, basically the problem I was working on was how to extend uh, ML with recursive modules. So there was uh, there was all the, all the work that had been done up to that point. Basically, yeah, all the work that had been done up to that point when I started was uh, was was on various extensions of ML with higher order modules and things like this, but not uh, not cross module recursion that was considered well i think depending on who you spoke to either it was considered very challenging and exciting or uh, who would want that <laughs> <laughs> I, there were a lot of uh, certainly like dave mcqueen if you asked dave mcqueen and i know i know you had some uh, podcasts with dave mcqueen uh, he would uh, he would say uh, yeah i don't know i don't think we really need that uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seems like, you know, he was on my thesis committee by the way so, uh, anyway that's another story uh, so yeah, it, it was uh, it was a, but it was an interesting problem. I mean, because rec recursion, uh, as you can imagine, adding recursion when you have type definitions and data abstraction and all these things, like it just adds another uh, level of complexity.